Guests and authors do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of this channel's broadcaster or sponsors. Any content provided by our bloggers or authors are of their own opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything. Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. How y'all doing out there today? We got Dr. Valentine in the house in the building. How you doing there, Dr. Valentine? I'm well, good brother. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Did my little uh, stroll earlier outside, getting my exercise on, joining that. And uh, yeah, yeah. So let's get into it right now. You got a Zoom coming up right now that's going to be very good. And um, what will you be talking about? Well, I'll be following up on the things I've said uh, maybe about 10 years ago. A lot of the things that I did in my former webinars are now coming to the fore. And a lot of my students are calling me and asking me for qualifications. Uh, some of the things I've said have not yet um, have not yet manifested, but what they're doing is they're seeing signs leading up to that uh, that event or that particular phenomena actually happening. So um, since we are only five five years away from the 2030 mark, uh, these are going to be pivotal years where we have to get into a mode of preparation, but also anticipation for great things to happen. Uh, by the way, uh, I forgot to add our contact number, okay. uh, which is uh, 800. All right. 847-1291. Uh -huh. okay. And if anybody wants to, you know, having problems, I'm not sure whether or not you've posted. Yes, you have the registration. Anyone who's having problems with registration, they can actually contact me at my private email. I think that'll be Sunu. That's S-U-N-N-U, -N -N the one that you sent it, 777 at Gmail. The same number you see for Zell. That's S-U-N-N-U, -N -N not just S-U-N-N. -N. Uh, it's S-U-N-N-U. Um, I think it needs, yeah, it just needs to add the other U. Um, and the PayPal, that's you. Okay. Um, my PayPal, okay. Yeah. And the Zell is S U N N U seven, 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 uh, at gmail.com where it says Zell. Right. It just has S U N N. Right. Oh, so, the use there. The use there. Oh yes. Yeah, use there now. Okay. Um, what I was saying is that if you have a problem in registering, uh, make sure that you send a letter requesting the the the, uh, the the link for registration, and make sure that in the subject box you just put all capital letters webinar. 
Mm -hmm. That way I will be able to distinguish and get right to your particular post because I get so many posts. Mm -hmm. uh, it's best that they, they know to make sure that they send that particular necessity to me. Um, that being the case, uh, a lot of things are happening now that Trump has been put back into office. Um, I spoke many, many times about the deep state and what they're trying to do to take away the rights uh, to make sure that that they maintain their uh, child sex trafficking and uh, the sex trafficking itself, uh, taking away your rights, uh, getting into what they call the genocide programs. Uh, hopefully, I'm not you know causing any problems with with your particular platform, but in speaking about it, you know you have to be very uh, you have to be careful, but. I, I'm, I really, it's not a time for that. It's, it's, it's time we come out and we have courage against those who have been just blatantly coming out and, and taking away our rights. Um, a lot of people don't know the different secret ways that they've been working against the people of the United States and the world. Right. Um, we are no longer a corporation called the United States. I've been told by those who are working in the, in the, and behind the scenes that we are going to be this entire Western part of the world, quote unquote, from Canada all the way down uh, through Mexico and to South America. This, this, this is going to be called uh, the United States of North America, which is Canada and the United States are gonna join together at some point. Uh, once they get rid of um, the, the son of Fidel Castro, um, the one that's the prime minister at this particular time, Trudeau. Right. Um, that's not that's not Trudeau's the original Trudeau's son. Uh, that is Fidel Castro's bastard child, who's pretty much running everything right now. His mother used to have affairs uh, with Fidel Castro. She used to go down to Cuba all the time, and uh, they had an affair. And this is not uh, Francois Trudeau's son. This is Fidel right. Castro's son that's in there. And that's why you see Canada going through all the things they're going through right now, uh, because he is part of the deep state. Uh, the other thing is that uh, those of us who are under Obamacare, uh, what you're going to come to find out when you come to the, you know, uh, to the, <clears throat> uh, to the webinar, you find out that Obamacare was actually created uh, to foster and to support child sex trafficking. And people are going to find out how that's been done and uh, the particular mechanisms that were put in place in order to uh, uh, es essentially completely erase uh, from existence using uh, the lack of media attention, uh, something like 300,000 children each year uh, that go missing. And so we're seeing it coming out now with Diddy and uh, with another young lady, I think her name is Alicia, or uh, I forgot her name, but. I remember her about three or four years ago uh, speaking about uh, the traumas of uh, children uh, using the uh, the children's uh, society, the ones you talk about, uh, children's protective agencies. Okay. These are all areas for child sex trafficking. Uh, so, yeah, this, this, this is going to show a lot. It's going to tell you uh, what to do with your monies, uh, how to be prepared. Uh, for what's getting ready to go down, uh, the changeover of the money system, everything. And uh, a lot of people who've ad added my advice, who took my advice about XRP, is now seeing that XRP is getting ready now that uh, Trump is in office. Um, there's going to be a rise. It went right away from 56 cents all the way up to $1.73 as soon as he was uh, declared the winner. Right. And so people found uh, some real serious monies now, so XRP, XLM, XDC, uh, HBAR, these are going to be the money makers for those who wish to, uh, to uh, I guess, invest uh, for their future. Right, 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 right. Okay, and again, y'all, the link is in the room there in the chat. So if y'all want to click it and see it, it's right in the chat there, uh, right in the chat. Yeah, what's up with you, uh, Camel Joe? How you, yeah, 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 Camel Joe likes the XRP. Yeah, 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 you learned that from... Um, what you were talking about there, uh, Dr. Valentine, but yeah, so let's, let's, let's talk about these politics and all that right now. Um, and voting, was it, was it good for, 
folks to vote whatever side they voted for was it was it was it a good thing to do was it bad was it was it pointless what's what's your take on that well i i can't vote right now because i am a um i'm uh what do you call a sovereign I, i'm not part of the corporation right uh yeah iso uh 222 yeah um, that's going to kick in as well as the gcr or gsr uh the global uh system uh the financial system is uh getting ready to kick in but I can't vote because I am a uh, secured party creditor. I'm no longer part of the corporation that these people are voting for. They're voting for a CEO, in other words. Right. But in this case, um, we're told that, uh, what's his name? Uh, Biden was the actual last CEO of the corporate United States of America. Okay. Uh, Donald Trump, who has been groomed for this particular time, is now the president of the United States of North America. That's supposed to come in. We're going to see whether or not the people are going to be able to deal with that situation. I have it on good terms for the last, if you remember, five or six years. I've been talking to the prime minister of the United States of North America, and he's told me, he's the one filling me in on all the moves that everybody was uh, uh, privy to that I was giving information to that you see happening today. Uh, so we're going to see what happens. Uh, the elders that he is talking to, the ones who are the kingmakers, so to speak, um, he he spoke to me and told me that that Trump will most likely be uh, the first of the uh, of the presidents of the United States of North America, but right. um, he'll be under the auspices of the elders uh, that are in China in in areas of the Philippines. Uh, and certain places where they're working behind the scenes. Right. Um, right now you're seeing they're getting rid of the deep state. The deep state essentially is headquartered in Israel right now. And what you, I mean, everybody say, well, you know, Trump is for Israel. Trump is for Israel. Yes, uh, he was for Israel because his, uh, his son-in-law is Israeli. But now that the deep state is being exposed, uh, the, the, the premise upon which Israel exists, which they claim... Uh, has to do with biblical, um, uh, you know, foundations. Now, even their own are now um, giving uh, the essential. Give thanks. <laughs> um, they they are now coming out with uh, people who are Ashkenaz, and they're saying we are not the true Jew. They are now coming out, young people are saying that they are not. They are the Khazar and the people who are ruling right now in the deep state, the, the Soroses, the Bloombergs, all the people that you see that are running the pivotal parts of the corporation of the United States of America are under the auspices of Khazar. So is the music business, uh, uh, Diddy, uh, Epstein, these are all Mossad and Khazar agents. And that's how they kept their their particular rule uh, they rule based upon what they uh, say was Babylon's uh, culture supposedly um, but what they were as a as a kingdom they uh, they became converted uh, under King Bulan and they chose the uh, EU. I W. That's the way it was. One called Jew it was key called EU or Euda, you know, not Judah, because again the J was not introduced until the 17th century. Right. So who's who's this Jesus and you know who's Judea? All these names that you're seeing were actually created by the Neanderthal, the Neo Neanderthal. Right. And um, we we know for a fact that because they are Neanderthal and and Kazar, I remember there was a, a doctor by a professor uh, that um, Michael Bradley, who wrote The Iceman Inheritance, he said himself uh, in a conversation with Dr. Well, my mentor, Dr. Clark, uh, he told him that he was welcomed in Israel. They had a red carpet for him after he wrote The Iceman Inheritance because most people don't know that the Khazars are at war with the Nordic European. Mm -hmm. And most people don't know that. And they use the blacks as their lackeys in that war as the buffer zone, because blacks essentially have 
the jurisdiction over the land. So once you control the indigenous population whose flower and fauna and their DNA match directly to the land, which means they are the possessors and they are the true owners of the land, you control them, then you can use them against your enemy. So essentially what they did, they mixed in with the Nordic Europeans. And so the Khazars themselves now, um, they're now coming out and they're being found out. So what happened when um, doc, uh, Dr. Bradley, uh, Michael Bradley went back to Israel and they welcomed him with the red carpet and yes, come in, you know, uh, oh, you're, you're part of the return and all of that. Well, he wrote a book um, uh, or a paper uh, called Esau's Kingdom. And in Esau's kingdom, I believe it was Esau's kingdom, uh, but in Esau's kingdom, he wrote that uh, that the, the so-called Khazar or Jew is uh, three or four percent Neanderthal, and it was like, whoa, hold on! You you look at the the ancient Hebrew Israelites or Jews or uh, the people that you came, the EU people, uh, they have no connection to Neanderthal, and those are the ones that are the original so-called Jews. So who are you? And so as soon as he wrote that, he was kicked out of Israel mm -hmm. and not allowed to come back again. Right. And uh, of course, uh, my mentor wrote the, uh, the, the prologue and the introduction to the Iceman Inheritance, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. John Henry Clark. But to let you know that the deep state are the Khazars. They are the Khazarian mafia, the Khazarian mm -hmm. mob. And all praises are due to their work over the last 150 years uh, to almost conquer the world with what they did and who they are. Mm -hmm. um, they infiltrated themselves into the governments. Uh, essentially, the, the so-called APAC or Israeli lobby uh, runs three-fourths of our government, which is why Trump has to now clean out the deep state by exposing everything that they did do, taking back our, our freedoms, take back the laws, and to get rid of the constitutions that they have been using, two different constitutions. They've been using three, three particular constitutions that are supposedly really working. The first constitution was the one they got rid of, which was the uh, de jure constitution that we, as the indigenous peoples wrote uh, via the combining of the uh, Haudenosaunee or the Six Nation Confederacy longhouse and, and the great law. That's where they, Franklin and all of them got theirs. But then there are two different constitutions that they were running, the corporate constitutions. There's the municipal constitution, which was run out of Washington, D.C., and the Pope, along with Queen Elizabeth. But Queen Elizabeth also ran what was known as the territorial constitution. She's the one who used to sign your social security checks. So these two constitutions, the municipal constitution, which came out of Washington, D.C., Washington, D.C. being controlled by the city of London, the 10-mile district of London, and all the lawyers being controlled by the ends of the court, which is part of the city of London. So we were all always under the jurisdiction of the, cor of the corporate British system. And so when we, when we started dealing with, um, uh, with the FBI, for example, the FBI is a foreign uh, inst uh, institute, they're foreign agents. They right. need permission. They need permission from the sheriff of, of the local counties and their jurisdiction before they can actually move against you. But because the sheriffs were so, so corrupt, they had carte blanche because they took over the FBI, the Khazars and the Mossad. Mossad took over CIA. Mossad took over national intelligence. Mm -hmm. You see? And this is where you get the surveillance um, networks that are, are happening and why people are sick. And so right now, the, the people that are leaving now that tr Trump is, is president, um, you have uh, Fauci leaving. Uh, you have all of Hollywood leaving the United States of America. You right. have Goldberg and all of these people are now under indictment. So it, a lot of people don't know that it's a secret indictment of over 150,000 uh, people. That the courts, that the higher courts now. Now, this is the beautiful part about it. The Congress is all gearing up to try to get against Trump at this point. But here's the slick part. Trump is Trump ain't no fool because he's been studying this for a while. What Trump is doing is he's going to dismiss this Congress. Remember, he has the power to dismiss Congress. 
And then in the interim, he has the ability to appoint whoever he wants during their recess. Mm -hmm. So he's bringing in this crazy group of people that's getting ready to cut the fat in government, take away the taxes that they put in, destroy the bureaucracy that has been taking the monies and giving it over to Ukraine, giving it over to, the, to, to China. China is doing some incredible work. If you see some of the buildings they're coming out, that's our money because they hold three fourths of our debt. So we, we, the United States have been going down, but we were the brains that the world is using now. Our intellectual capital is what's raising the rest of the planet. Now it's the time for it to come back here. Mm -hmm. You see, so now Biden was glad to get rid of because he cut a deal. He cut right. a deal. Okay, you you take care of my family. Make sure that you know I know I can get some jail time. You could put me into some club fed, get his son into club fed, mm -hmm. and he's going to bow out and say, you know, I'm going to go ahead and 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 sink into my my mental dis, uh, dis, dysfunction and die off. But meanwhile, meanwhile. We got to watch for Israel because that's getting ready to get real deep. So right now, the black nobility is the one that we were trying to get away from. That's who it was. Uh, I'm, just, I'm sorry to just, just ask that question. It's funny it should pop up at this time. King George essentially was part of the black nobility. In fact, mm -hmm. King George was actually the king of not only England at the time, but of France at the same time. So when the so-called Revolutionary War was being fought, he was was we were fighting against him in England, but essentially he was fighting against himself. So he started and helped with his agents, Washington um, and uh, uh, Ben Franklin, who were part of the nobility. They 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 got us to fight and to kill one another, and to become what are known as constitutors. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows what that word is. Look up, go into those of you who have Black's Law's Dictionary, look up constitutor. So the Revolutionary War was to make the people here, the indigenous autochthonous peoples who wanted to get away from the British rule, the Black nobility, they turned us into constitutors. Mm -hmm. But most people didn't know that the United States, that word, those words, United States, was actually a corporation that belonged to King George and they were in receivership. Mm -hmm. So they needed somebody to pick up the debt for a failing corporation. So the Revolutionary War was fought to trick us to become constitutors. Now, when you look that up in Baxlaw's dictionary, the word constitutor boils down to mean one who picks up the debt for another. Think about that. Mm. So now, all this time, ever since, you know, the, the Catholic Church, with the, who are the Jesuits, they've been the ones that have been actually orchestrating everything happening to the United States because the United States became an anathema. Mm -hmm. He became an anathema to the United States. All his freedom is to pull away from the monarchy. And essentially, the Catholic Church is a monarchy. Right. And they wanted to make sure that we came back under their spell. So they took over the financial system through the Knights Malta, and they took over the, the system that would have kept us free by taking over the Knights Templar, because the Knights Templar were the ones that protected Christianity that was not part of the Pope. They did not want to be part of the Pope. Matter of fact, the Knights Templar were being trained by the Moors. Hmm by Islam. Mm -hmm. That's where you get Baphomet. Baphomet was not, a, you know, this crazy thing that these Khazars turned into. Baphomet was a symbol of Mahomet, which was essentially another word for Muhammad. Okay, okay. You see, and that was their way of dealing with the goat. The goat was actually January. The goat was, rep was representative of the initiate, who they were. They were initiates. So what did the Catholic Church do in order to make sure that they took over the monies that, that, that the Knights Templar ran and used and were a part of? They make sure that they, they now took back that monies that would have made people free. 
they invited de Molay, who was at the head of the time. Um, I think it was named, uh, I think the, the person in France, the King of France was Philip at that time. And he and the Pope set up de Molay by telling them, come in, we're going to talk and we're going to have, and they killed him. They burned him alive in the square and took over from that point, the Knights Templar. But they came back again, this time through England and through a man by the name of Lord Blackheath. Lord Blackheath was at the time the head of the Knights Templar, and he actually promised the treasures of the Knights Templar to Trump when Trump made the trip over there to Ireland to give honors to his ancestors. He was over there speaking to the, uh, to um, Lord Blackheath. Two weeks after he did talk to Trump, he was found dead. Mm. So when Trump introduced what was getting ready to go on for those four years, he purposely did not um, use the military to take back what was stolen to show the people of America and the world exactly who it was that was running the world because the United States being the powerhouse it was, if it did anything crazy, it was going to show up. So the, 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 for the, for the, it was supposed to be 16 years that the, that the, that the deep state needed in order to, to take over the world, mm -hmm. but they were interrupted for four. So for 12 years, everybody's bitching and moaning about what it is that Trump did, but the Democrats were in power for 12 years. And here we are after four years of Trump who brought down, and again, I'm not saying, you know, everybody go out and vote for Trump. I'm watching him just like a hawk myself. I'm right. telling you that I know that what a businessman looks like. Right. And if I'm paying only 129 and 116 for gas, and this idiot comes in and I'm paying 349 for gas, what's <laughs> right. wrong with him? Right, right. You see what right. I'm saying? So right. black folks right now are thinking like, and this is no aspersion, but they're thinking with emotions. They're thinking like women. Mm -hmm. You see these 4B women, they're going to shave their heads because they're pissed off. Now imagine putting somebody with a mentality like that into the Oval Office and having their finger on the, 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 the nuclear football. Dangerous. Like these women dealing with 4B. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Insane. And sane women know that's insane. But this is who it is that we are allowing to come in there. And who the heck would want to marry, uh, uh, allow somebody who would bring somebody like Cardi B mm. and, and Megan the Stallion? Mm hmm and Beyonce and all of these people here to come up there paying $10 million. This, you know, you could tell that that, that entire um, run was about money laundering. Mm -hmm. They made $1 billion and then what? Six months later, they're 20 million in debt. Mm -hmm. Where'd that money go? Right. It was, and just like Act Blue, they find out Act Blue was a money laundering and, and that was, uh, uh, you know, um, what is that? Uh, Black Lives Matter. They were money laundering for Soros, for Bloomberg, mm -hmm. and for all the rest of these uh, Khazars and, and these Mossad people. So what we're looking at today is a complete stratagem where we're going to see that all of the uh, people like, like um, Diddy, who worked for Mossad, just like... Uh, What's his name? Um, Epstein, who worked for Mossad, and they were taking pictures. Matter of fact, I got a, a um, uh, I got a report from uh, overseas. I won't say anything further than that. That a, a few of the senators uh, had their families threatened, and they had to perform sex on an underage child on camera with a gun to their heads, so that they could have that over them. Mm -hmm. So you see all of these, look at this. As soon as Diddy got arrested, over 300 CEOs around the United States, what did they do? Step down. They step down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they know that once they do Diddy, they're going to do Epstein. Mm -hmm. And now Oprah, most people don't know that they went into her place over there digging up the grounds to find bodies of children. 
-hmm. See, and all of this is what's going to come out. You have no idea what it is I've been digging up for this mm -hmm. next webinar. Most people, you know, they think is, you know, that when I do my research, if they were to go back four or five, maybe 10 years, you'll see everything happening now I spoke about back then. I'm right. about to speak about what's getting ready to happen for the next five years. Right. Mm hmm. Can we talk about Kamala Harris and her genealogy and, and lineage and her being so-called black and them basically doing a, um, you know, a, a, a play on that? Can we talk about that? Well, yeah, we could talk about it. But um, I spoke about the fact that Kamala was actually from the Tamil family, that she wasn't actually so-called black. She is melanated, but she is not. And, and I don't call her Kamala Harris. She's Kamala Emhoff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's get it straight that's her handler her husband is her handler and this man is a wife beater he's a he's an abuser mm -hmm. and he <clears throat> i believe that he had um i forgot what it is but he had uh um, some sort of issue uh with a corporation that that she was getting she was going to into office and become the president that the, his uh, investments were going to go through the roof mm -hmm. because she was like like nancy pelosi pelosi is getting ready to get out of town too everybody is, is jumping ship right now and uh what's his name that's married to that uh, transgender uh the guy who headed up the, the, the democratic uh, party in new york schumer oh yeah yeah. yeah, Chuck Schumer, yeah. he's hooked up with a transgender. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of these people that you're looking at, the people that they're putting in there, they're putting in there based upon the twisting uh, of, of esoteric knowledge uh, in dealing with this uh, transhuman. Uh, there's something called transhuman genocide that we'll be speaking about and how the the malformation and the insulting of nature is part of the satanic cults religion. Mm -hmm. It's it's distorting the, the creator's work is, is what gives them power, mm -hmm. which is why they can get into your school and teach your children what they're teaching them. So when you talk about Kamala Harris, um, Kamala was a whore. She was the, the pass around. If you want to get favors from them, you, you sent Kamala, like they did with um, what's her name before she settled down, uh, Rihanna. Got it. Got it. Okay. You see, so she. I remember her when I went. Uh, I did. You can see maybe an old um, uh, picture of me on um, who was Kamala's boyfriend uh, at the time, who had a show. Oh, uh, uh, Montel, Montel, yeah, um, Montel yeah, yeah. Williams. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw her there at the Montel Williams show. Okay, okay. When she was uh, younger, and uh, it's funny how they're showing now who she was. You know, a lot of the women. Oh, you need you, know, you hate women and this and so forth. I know. It's, I I I would vote for women in a moment. I would have voted for um, Tulsi Gabbard. Mm, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. brilliant woman. Right. And very cool. And I would say, yeah, I like her, 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 you know, philosophy and political philosophy and the whole nine yards. I would have voted for her. Mm -hmm. Women ain't got nothing to do with it. As a matter of fact, we men are raised by women mostly. Right. So, I mean, that's the first person we happy say, you know, when you, when you get it sick, you know, hey, mama, you know, hey, ma. Mm -hmm. We think we, they always congratulate you and say, hey, dad. No, no they don't ever say that. Mm -hmm. So you know, this nonsense that they try to tell you, you know, this guy, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Obama. Uh, I like to call him, uh, you know, Hussein or uh, right. calling him, um, what's his name? What they, What's his other name again? Um, Barry. Um, Barry. Barry. So, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry. Yeah. Um, you can imagine that they're coming up to try to guilt us and say that we didn't want to vote for her because she was a woman and that she was black and blah, blah, blah. All the shaming mm -hmm. tactics, you know, that's, oh, that's, that's, those are female weapons. You could tell mm -hmm. shame, like your boy, what's his name? Um, I'm, I'm really, my memory is really, uh, Kevin Samuels used to say, Samuel. to you, 
Yeah, he used to say sign. I think it was like a shame, insult, guilt, the need to be right, that type of thing. Right. And that's exactly what they were doing. Mm -hmm. They were using female tactics on us to shame us mm -hmm. and to make us feel that we should be shamed into not not um, not voting for her. But she was she was an empty suit. Mm -hmm. All she could do was cackle each time. And anybody who laughs every time she finishes a sentence is to try to get you to like them. That's a big psych As a metaphysical psychologist, that's the first thing I read. Why does she have to laugh all the time? That's because, first of all, there's probably something going on around her heart. Usually when the pericardium is damaged, you laugh spontaneously. You don't, you don't know why you're laughing, but you laugh. And what happens is she has to make sure you feel happy around her presence because she knows that she has nothing to bring. So she has to continue to laugh. Hopefully she becomes infectious and gets you to laugh mm -hmm. so that you then would be psychologically in tune with her and listen to any of the bullshit that she has to say. She said nothing. She gave nothing. And when she was asked by the hen house at The View, would you change anything? No. I can't think of anything I would change. Mm -hmm. And so you're turning the page from what to what? Mm -hmm. You were in office for the last, what, four years? And you're going to tell us that this is what you're going to do now? Mm -hmm. Even while you were in office, you could have still done this? And you're going to tell us everybody was, they were gaslighting all of the people who were the faithful. And all right. the people who were taking the monies from the people to fund their lives. Right. And this and it's, it's such a damn shame. You get Joy Behar and you get this other Joy with the with the blonde uh, black hair talking all black black black. Mm -hmm. And and these are the people the, the the sick part of it is we were the ones who taught these Europeans republicanism. Right. The Republican Party was actually the 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 party that came from the um what is that? The party against slavery. Um, not the, not the, uh, not the. Um, no, the party uh, abolitionist. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The abolitionist movement became the Republican movement. Right. And it wasn't until Kennedy, who came along, and essentially. Uh, smooched us, smoothed us in to the Democratic, who were the actual Klan. The Klan put that uh, Democratic uh, Party up together, and they were the ones who blocked everything that had to do. Yeah, Joy Reid. Yeah, that thing. The, the Democrats were the ones that blocked every chance. Do you know that it wasn't until 1986, I believe? that the Democrats actually voted in their first black person into Congress, which was a woman. Mm -hmm. And it, and and the, the Republicans had blacks in there uh, on their side since the 1800s. Right. We don't know our history. So they, they make us dumb and stupid. We don't know any different. And so we are actually going with who they, the, 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 the house Negroes who are the ones who are, who are getting paid off coming out of the colleges uh, and, and being um, indoctrinated into the sororities and these places where they are run and funded by their masters. So they come out serving the plantation. And we don't study the true history. Even Malcolm said the worst of them is these liberals. Mm -hmm. And yet still they're gonna go ahead and go with the liberals. Mm -hmm. But anyway, like I said, Kamala was, and her mother, they were all um, fascists and they were all um, Marxists. Mm -hmm. And Kamala's mother came from the caste of India that were the Brahmins, the Brahmins and the Tamil, the Tamils. Mm -hmm. And these were the ones that instituted after the conquest of India uh, the Kal Empire and the Mohenjo-daro, after their conquest for, by the Mughals, they were the ones who took over and the ones that you see dressed in orange with the bald heads, the Brahmins, mm -hmm. those are the ones that instituted the Varna system, 
which is the untouchable system. So she came from the untouchable system, which made it easy for her to lock up so many black men mm -hmm. for BS, um, little, little, you know, having bags of this and that, mm -hmm. and sicking these the criminal and the and the homicide bureau on parents whose children are truant from car, um, from school, mm -hmm. and they wanted to put this woman into office, not even going in to do the necessary scrutiny and and vetting that a man, an intelligent man, a logical man would do before they, but you still got to get and sit down. If you're going to get a job, somebody got to go through your life and know what the hell you're doing there and why and what credentials you have. We were ready to vote for her for nothing. Mm -hmm. Just because she had, uh, uh, I'm sorry to be indelicate, two tits and a clit. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> right, it's right, right. It's ridiculous. It's right. ridiculous. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm ranting, but I'm telling you, wait till you see all the stuff that I have. And I'm, I'm, I'm barely scratching the surface yeah. as to what it is that's uh, what I'm going to ready to put down. Remember, it's the one day before Trump's inauguration on the mm -hmm. 19th of January is when I'm going to have this major webinar. Please spread the word. And there you right. have, um, I guess. Miss, they, yeah, yeah. yeah, Mrs. Geechee got, yes, the link is in the room there. It's going to be on the 19th. But the link is in the top of the chat there. It is uh, pinned, so you should see that right there. Uh, yeah, you yes, see that? Yes. Do, you have, do you have the flyer? I do. I'll put that on here, yes. Um, yeah, let me pull that up. So Curtis has a question, Dr. Valentine. He said, yeah. I have a question. Is it possible to change your astrology placements, DNA given at birth, or does someone have to wait until they reincarnate? <laughs> That's a great one. Um, it depends on how you deal with what is known as the bardo, the three bardos. Um, if you have ever read the Tibetan Book of the Dead, there are three stages we go through after death. The first bardo is essentially the disengaging from the, the sensual experience and perceptions of the body. And going into this state where you can't believe that you're leaving the body because you're bringing with you the pain, uh, the joys, and also the, no, that's not it. Yeah, that's the wrong one. Let me pull this up yeah. One second. The pains, the joys, and yeah, so put forth. Put the other one there. Yeah. And so once, once you're leaving the body, there is this uh, surprise at the light that you see. And then all of a sudden, the second bardo is visions. You begin to see all the different parts that you've played and all the different people that are normally around you. That's the one. And uh, so it depends at that particular time, do you wish to return? Do you wish to come back while you're looking at all these visions or do you wish to move forward? Do you wish to go forward in your life and to um, essentially bring, it, bring yourself uh, to a point where uh, you say, okay, I will return back to the flesh or I'll go to the third bardo, which is to go directly to enlightenment and either to choose to come back or not to be compelled to come back. So whatever it is that your heart and your soul carries with you, because that's where the soul sits. The soul sits in the heart, not in the brain. That's where you weigh. That's why when you look at the ancients and they talked about uh, weighing the heart against the feather, the ab versus the feather of ma'at. If the heart is heavier than the feather, it means that you are not ready to go past that particular point and you feel compelled based upon the passions and the sensations and the emotions that you've been part of during the time when you are physical, that draws you closer because you felt you didn't accomplish something and that compels you to come back in the body. If the feather is heavier than the heart, it means that now you uh, are no longer trapped by the false sensations of the physical body, which is temporal, which means it's temporary, which means it's not real, it's all illusion. If you want to keep participating in that, then the heart would be heavier than the feather. If not, and you're ready to go through to enlightenment and to take on a whole other stage of participating in perception and consciousness, then you move to the third bardo. Excellent, excellent.
Yeah, uh, Trey Truth, you asked, why are they now disclosing information on UFOs coming from the oceans? Because there's a whole civilization that's down there uh, inside of the earth itself, underground. The oceans essentially are just doorways or mediums between certain consistencies in third density. Uh, we have the dome, which is made out of water, and the ways that people can actually resonate through that filter that is made out of compressed hydrogen. Um, there's no going into outer space. There's no such thing as outer space. It's all a lie. Mm -hmm. We are under a dome made out of, and I said this 10, 15, 20 years ago, that we're made out, there's a dome above us made out of compressed hydrogen. And that compressed hydrogen has other densities in it that is separating the waters from the waters as spoken about in the ancient, again, that's S-U-N-N-U. -N -N -U. It keeps coming up as S-U-N-N. -N. Are you People, talking about the on the bottom here? Yeah, they're reading it off of the ticker tape. And it's not S-U-N-N. -N. It's S-U-N-N. -N. Yeah, not to pay, not PayPal. The okay, I thought you meant on my right. chat. Okay, let me change that right now. Either yeah. S-U-N-N -N right there. Right. The yeah. Yeah, so um, we're underneath this dome. So as far as UFOs are concerned, they're entities that are actually vibrating and resonating through densities. And because the air is another form of density, you don't feel it because your body is a vehicle that was made to navigate through air or what you call air. This is what you feel here. When you do this with your arms, you feel resistance. You feel like you're moving something that you can't see. Well, you, you are. You're under another form of water. And I've always said this, that most people didn't understand what I meant, that air is another form of water and that water is another density of air. And they're, they're all they're kind of a, a, a condensing process. The way we are not created, we are condensed into third density. And density means what it is. The pressure zones are necessary to compress all of the atoms that constitute our avatar or our physical bodies. And so when you're looking at us and we have this aura around us, the aura is what's maintaining or compressing and keeping the atoms of which we are comprised from flying apart. So we are being held together, compressed together by, of course, by the will of the creator to create itself or to be a part of itself. But we are also uh, entities that are vibrating. And so the so-called UFOs, they're about to, they say they're going to do a uh, disclosure on them. Uh, you'll find out that they're resonating from beyond the dome, that everything is on a flatted plane, and that we are sharing the same so-called dome skies or the same separation of water densities that other entities from other domes are actually dealing with the same way that when you go to Antarctica and they were flying over Antarctica, I believe in 1957 or 1958, they said that they ran into a dome that was about 13,000 feet. They kept going towards Antarctica and they were coming over there and what they had reading about 13,000 to 15,000 uh, or 13,000 miles up or something to that effect. Uh, they started running into what looked like a dome. And when your boy, uh, what is this, Musk? Elon, Elon Musk? Musk, yeah, yeah. Right, when he shot one of his rec well, his um, uh, rockets up into the air, and once NASA had done that, when it got to a certain uh, set of feet, I think about 28,000 miles or 28 mile, miles or whatever it was, all of a sudden it hit something, and skidded across it, and what the wake of what it is that thing created looked like water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when they spoke about it, the separation of the waters from the waters, 
which of course they took from uh, the ancient scriptures and made it into a Bible uh, with that information. Uh, what we're going to be getting is uh, entities that live in the water. They're going to be washing up on shore. Uh, we're going to see entities that were actually made like us to breathe water and um, to live in the earth. And that's why they've built these cities underground that the governments around the world, the ones in the higher echelon, know that there are entities that live underground, miles underground, and that they have struck deals with them. And some of them are not so nice. Some of them live on the blood of young children or were taught to live on the blood of young children. And these people sacrifice children's or, or people's blood and the flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are hunted. We are hunted mm -hmm. for our flesh and they have trained uh, for power. They've told those who are in power, if they want to, they could cannibalize and adren adrenalize uh, the children themselves, uh, just like they would uh, do um, what you call beef, that's baby, uh, baby beef. Um, veal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the ch our children are the veal for these creatures. Right. Yeah, and uh, two British nerds. Um, you say, what's up, uh, Dr. V? Is the power source of the observer coming from the waters above in regards to seeing the image in the mind? <laughs> nice one. <laughs> How you doing, my brother? Good question. Um, well, what we're looking at, uh, we are looking at a, a saturation of the atmosphere with a cycle that takes place with certain revolutions of the sun. Now remember the sun, we're not going around the sun. The sun is revolving above us in a parabolic manner. In other words, it's it's going not in a complete circle, but in a circle that takes it to what we call the Southern hemisphere and goes up in almost like a spiral, what they call a divine uh, coil. And what happens is as it continues to stir, after something like 33,000 cycles or something to that effect, what happens is it's like the stirring of a pot. The ingredients get rearranged. And since this uh, Japanese man who scientists found out that water retains memory, most people don't understand that the air we breathe is also water so that the thoughts we think are actually being emblazoned into what we and our ancient ancestors call the Akasha for the Akashic records. So the Akashic records are what they are tapping into. That's what AI taps into right now. That's what they want to tap into. All of why, why it is that they're coming up with all these fantastic um, uh, inventions and AI and all of this. What they're doing is they're tapping into the life the secrets of life, and because they cannot transcend out of the body based on the lack of melanin, what they have to do is to create exoskeletons that mimic melanin. And these exoskeletons, you'll see them introduced in Hollywood movies, where you see them put on their Iron Man suits, and when you see them put on um, uh, the Edge of Tomorrow with the uh, Calm Cruise. All of these exoskeletons that you see is them enhancing what their physical bodies can do because of what their spiritual bodies can't do. Mm -hmm. They can read and, and then decipher what we have put down based on what we call empirical experience, but they don't have empirical experiences when it comes to what it is that our ancestors gave us in the form of all of the literature about their experiences in the spiritual zone. So they're creating a virtual reality to actually mimic like they do when they try to play our rock and roll and stole our rap and stole our R&B and everything we did musically and culturally. They're stealing, or at least vicariously, secondhand experiencing what we firsthand experienced and documented through allegory, through myth, because myth is nothing more than the reporting of the spirit having its own experience. 
-hmm. through the flesh. Mm -hmm. So what you, what what you're saying is, are we picking up information? Yes. Right now, the what I call the etherical pot has been stirred, and right now all that information that we we have is privy to us right now. But they have to stop it. That's why you're getting the so-called JAB. Mm -hmm. To shut down your ability, your blood. Your blood is is a liquid crystal. It's a crystal, just like they have liquid crystals that they use when they want to put into the computers. Well, your liquid crystal that connects you directly to source is in your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. So they have to shut down that communication uh, conduit by poisoning you mm -hmm. with the food. And the beautiful part about it, <laughs> oh, baby, you know that he took, um, I, I don't know if you were there in New York, those of you in New York, when uh, Curtis Cost and myself, uh, along with Bobby Kennedy Jr., mm -hmm. uh, we did a, a, a anti-V uh, program. It was packed. Must have been 400 people that showed up at the church. And um, when, it, when it came down to it, now he is going to be the Secretary of Health mm -hmm. and, 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 and the Human Resources, and he's getting ready to get together with a noted um, uh, organic farmer who's wrote, written several books about pure organic uh, gardening, and he's getting ready to get rid of DuPont and all the rest of these people poisoning us with the foods. So mm -hmm. y'all going to have some serious good foods coming in over the next four, two years, because he has two years to accomplish this by 26. Because once, they, once he dismisses Congress and he puts in his own people, he has until 2026 to do everything he needs to do to clean out the swamp, as he said he was mm -hmm. going to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and British Nerd City, I'm doing good. All good. Great to see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Tori says, learn HVAC and you will know that air is fluid and we are compressed at 14.7 PSI atmospheric pressure. There you uh, go. There uh, you go. And that uh, most people don't know that you're, you're breathing water. You're mm -hmm. water breathers, but because we have a refined avatar that just like the fish has a design for actually breathing in a densified form of water, we have, they can't breathe our particular their apparatus cannot co uh, allow them to breathe our atmosphere because mm -hmm. they were not designed for us that mm -hmm. this, this atmosphere but we are designed for this the atmosphere and this is what to show you that creation is divine intelligence at work mm -hmm. and dirty folks says you know it's a dome not a globe because every satellite photo is from the equator but you can't find any real photos of antarctica come Homes on now. are the axe yeah come on ma the actual Antarctica is actually a circle that holds in the oceans. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know that. And that if you go further into Antarctica, you'll see that under the ice and beyond some of the ice, you remember that Piri, the Piri map, mm -hmm. showed that there were actually kings and people that we were doing. There was kingdoms in the Antarctic regions that we were doing business with. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, because of what was happening and what happened to us, they sank that particular consciousness time zone, resurrected a whole other time zone, and then completely covered the area with ice to keep us in because this was actually a prison mm -hmm. for souls that needed to go through a cleansing process. And this is what we're going through right now. Mm. Some of us, like yourselves and others who are enlightened at this point, have come back to help those who are a little more denser, younger souls, we call them, younger souls, kindergarten souls, mm -hmm. who actually do not have an understanding of how deep this particular thing goes. Uh, of course, they've been given the Bible, the Quran, they've been given the, uh, the, the, the Torah and so forth. But these are segues giving myth to children so that they can understand through the, the interpretation of the myth exactly what you are, not who you are, but what you actually are at the essential level. Who you are is essentially what you identify yourself as and want to be identified as. You're, you know, I'm, a, I'm a, what is it? I'm an architect. You know, I'm a, I'm a computer uh, operator, blah, blah, blah. That's who you are. 
That's what you do. That's your doer. Your thinker and your knower becomes what you are. Mm -hmm. You see? And that essence of what you are is what we in our school, by the way, uh, at uh, commitmentphysics.org. Let me put that uh, link up here. Yeah, right there. UKSnow.org is our university. And we teach that. Everything that they're teaching you now over the last 35 years We've been uh, teaching, and I've seen a lot of our students come through. Uh, the same with uh, my boy, the Brit, <laughs> the Brit nerd. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and much respect to the uh, UK audience too, y'all. Especially my first uh, West Side Coolidge channel before they <laughs> terminated that one. Y'all were coming through, supporting. So much respect to y'all, 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 y'all are y'all are good there. Um, let's see. Curtis says, how is Trump draining the swamp if the Pope is the one in ultimate control? Why would the Vatican allow such things from him? He'll be the last Pope. Okay. okay. The reason why for that is because he too now is under investigation by the world court for being a child trafficker. In fact, he's the one, he's one of the people that were part of um, the P2 or the, um, the P2 Masons. Mm-hmm. Um, they're the ones who had the hunting parties where they would uh, take young people and throw them out and if they're teenagers and then hunt them down, kill them and eat them. This is the kind of stuff that was going on there. He's the one that allowed pedophiles to be relocated to different jurisdictions and different um, parishes. Mm-hmm. Now, what you looked at, um, that they had, if you look at the what they call the Eucharist, the Eucharist wasn't about the sun. The Eucharist was actually a picture of the anus because that's what they did. They they said that violating young males or young children themselves through the anus is them again going against uh, the, the dictates of natural law. In fact, they did not, they did not worship Jesus Christ. That's what Catholics really believe, that they worship Jesus Christ. The Vatican worships Lucifer. Mm -hmm. They worship a planet called Venus. And that's who Lucifer is, the bright morning star. In fact, if you were to come now in the summertime, uh, on a clear morning, you'll see a bright star with, I mean, the sun coming up over the the, uh, horizon. You will see in the bright, bright sky, a bright star twinkling. That's Lucifer. Mm-hmm. And Lucifer, he was called the bringer of the dawn. And that's why they called him the bringer of the dawn, because you saw that planet, Venus, before you actually saw the sun come up and crest over the horizon. Mm-hmm. So everything that you're looking at in the form of religion is actually what we call astrotheology, which meant it's how the stars moved and how the dome rotated and gave us information based upon the positioning of these so-called stars in the dome mm-hmm. that taught humanity at that stage how to navigate not only the waters of which we were made, but how to plant, how to know what to do, how when seasons would come and so forth. In fact, I taught for the last 35, 40 years that the stars that we call um uh, astrology or astrological symbols or stars, these are nothing more than the book of life. That's the first book of life. Mm-hmm. That's what we studied as the first book. That's the hieroglyphics of the sky, if you want to call that. Mm-hmm. And that's what taught us and taught our ancestors before we started putting it down. And we never really did any talking. This, what we call our vocal or our voice box, was the last thing to actually be developed. We actually spoke to each other in the form of pictures which is why the residual of the experiences of our ancient ancestors that go back 35 to 100,000 years was done in pictographs because that's how we think. We think in pictures. We don't think in words. It's only now that words have become so important because we and, and why we confuse each other because we no longer read the minds of the other person and that other person cannot be, once you are projecting yourself into another person's mind, that person is in your mind as well, 
and can actually participate to see whether or not you're genuine in what you're saying to that person. But with words, you can lie your ass off. Mm -hmm. And this is why they say that essentially as we descended and what they call the fall of man, um, we became deceived. And that's who they say that uh, Lucifer was. Being the bringer of light, he also brought deception with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Much respect, Charles. How you doing there? Um, you said any word on when your new book is coming out? Uh, that's going to be a while. Thank you for asking. Uh, the um, What you call the Cosmic Codex Book of the Earth. I just started looking over it again. Um, it's, it's really calling me. But now that so many people have been calling me from around the world, and I'm very thankful for, for them still actually paying attention to my work. Um, they're calling me to ask me to do another webinar, uh, which took me from doing this uh, other part there so that, um, you know, I'm, I'm really working on it, good brother. Trust me. It's, uh, it's coming along, and uh, I just have so much to do. It's going to be over a 1,000 pages. So it's not just going to be one of those quick things. You got to have – I'm, I'm going to force – our brothers and sisters back into understanding uh, what we would call literary works, uh, what, what we would be dealing with reading comprehension, because everything is like, you know, uh, McDonald's right now. Just get it fast, get it quick, download it. Even with Trump, I mean, with Musk talking about putting a chip in your head so you don't have to really study anymore. It'll download just like in the matrix, give you all you need to do and you can become it immediately without having to do the sweat work. I'm not, I'm old school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you, you all want to get uh, Dr. Valentine's book, the wounded womb, the link is in the room. Uh, Lulu.com. The, the link right there. Um, the most recent link is right there, y'all. If you want to buy and get Dr. Valentine's book, it's a great book. Uh, love it, you know, love it, love it. Great book, y'all. Y'all definitely gotta gotta get this book here. Um, let's talk about Dr. Uh, Nalani Valentine's book here, uh, "New Life from Near Death." Uh, great yeah. book too, y'all. Oh yes. Uh, what we're doing is um, at this time, her publisher, her present publisher, has uh, really failed her. So she's had to switch to publishers uh, and uh, uh, give back because the book is not coming out. At, the, at least the new, latest books are not coming out the way we, we expected them to. They really failed her. So um, we really appreciate uh, what people have put in and so forth. But we're going to be reimbursing those who are not satisfied with what we got because we're not satisfied with it. And if they wanted, they can actually go up online and if they really wanted to look at the book temporarily online, they can get it on Amazon. Uh, okay. But the actual book itself, thank you for actually reminding us. And uh, wait around maybe another two months, and right. then we're going to do another show uh, with everything intact the way it was supposed to be done. But thank okay. you anyway. Her book, definitely for you to go up there and get that book, is the her surviving uh, a real death experience because. Uh, she passed essentially temporarily for about 10 or 15 seconds. She stopped breathing and I had to revive her. And she came back from a particular disease that if she were not the kind of fastidious person working on her health and well-being, she would have been gone, the doctor said. And we have the best of the doctors down here because she was she had to be in tri triage. They said that you cannot survive if you have 40 or 45 percent of your blood is cancerous. Mm. Her blood was 80 percent cancerous. Mm. And because of the way she did what she did, her Juice Plus, her Unicity program, the way she is so fastidious with her exercise, she taught yoga. She's, I mean, everything that did. When they did a blood test on her, they said her blood test came back as a person, and we're in our 70s. She said she they had she had the blood of a 20-year-old. Mm. So she that when they went through everything that she went through, she literally came back from a uh, a particular position of her blood that people her age would have survived. It would not. She was going to go. 
and and that was it. But she fought back. Um, she even lost her hair, the beautiful locks. You remember she had locks that went real past her, her behind. Mm -hmm. And I had long hair. So when she lost her hair, I shaved, and the two of us uh, came together. We looked like two M and M's. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but this is her. This is her journey. You know, she's a, a hero in of mine, a heroette of mine, mm -hmm. and um, she really, really works hard. She keeps me on track because I get lazy sometimes and I leave herself. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that book is an inspiration, and the foreword was written um, by. Shaka Khan. Okay. 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 So, yeah, we um we're we're in touch with uh, Shaka and uh, through her nephew. Right. A very good brother. And yeah. I don't want to name him out because I don't like putting people's name out unless they give me the permission to. Right. And the link is right there, y'all. Again, it's in the chat room. All the links in the chat room, like uh, Dr. Valentine's book, uh, Dr. Nalani's um, book is in the room too. Uh, so all the links are there if you want to purchase that. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 right there. So by the way, her book was number one uh on the chart for help in Amazon uh, right. for two months. Excellent, excellent, yeah. excellent, excellent. Uh Trey uh says, when you dream, are you seeing alternate versions of yourself? Uh yeah, it's just recall. A lot of times when you dream, uh you are uh, if you have gone to bed and you have not really accomplished uh, a lot of the desires that you have in your blood because feelings are in your nerves. Feelings are resonance, thought resonances that are uh, that essentially attach to the nerves. Desires are essentially coordinated and resonate through the blood. So through feeling and desire. So if you desire something very heavily, then your dreams, uh, if you've eaten, your eating usually dictates what you desire or what you have not yet accomplished. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we end up eating before we go to bed. And the dreams that we have are based upon us now doing a lot of wish, uh, wish projection about what we want to see happen. And we use other people and other circumstances. And say, for instance, if there's somebody that we know that's challenging us, that challenge may take the place of a dog that chases us or a wolf or some kind of monster. So we begin to create these particular visions in our heads based upon unfulfilled realities that we're dealing with. Now, if there are those, there are those who dream or what we call dream or dream walk. Now, dream walking is a whole other thing. Uh, this is uh, if you want to really know about dream walking. Um, a book that I read back in my earlier days, back in the earlier 80s, uh, it's the book by uh, Carlos Castaneda. And he wrote a book uh, called A Yaki Way of Knowledge. He also wrote a book called um, Separate Reality, uh, Journey to Ixtlan, Tales of Power. All of these books uh, were dealing with uh, the sorcerer's journey, and it was called a Yaki way of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it was there that, uh, you know, you get to learn that part of yourself about dream walking mm -hmm. and understanding how you project yourself uh, as a, um, because Don Juan, who was his teacher, uh, was a, 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 what do you call him? Uh, a Nagawal. Okay. And a Nagual is one who walks in two worlds. The etheric world, which is the world of time, outside of time, and uh, the world of time. Um, remember, I teach at my university things that are coming about now that there are four elements, four foundational elements for third density reality. The fifth element is not ether, it's time. Ether is nothing more than the projected expression of an element called time. And that element is what's necessary for the cohesion of all things coming together to go through the cycle of time, to go through the cycle of a temporal existence. 
And so time is now expressed just like sight, sound, smell, and taste. Fire, air, water, and earth constitutes the W-O-R-D of God, the word, of, word made flesh. You are the word made flesh once you add the fifth element, and that's time. So when time and thought are the same, when time was existed, when time came together to consolidate what we call third density, thought came into being. That's when the reality of your, av av your, your avatar, your avatar gained consciousness or self-consciousness through the operation of time expressing itself as thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, that's, that's a whole other reality that we teach at our university. And we do invite you. Right now we are in our session, our, our fall session going into winter. Our winter session actually begins in January, if anybody's interested. Yes, and that's the website right there. Um, yeah. So y'all go to it. You don't really need the KMT. You just have to go to Kim. Or can you just go to UKSNOW? That's the short. Because that's okay. putting all that out. Sometimes people get. Or you have to go as UKSNOW. Yeah, the same way to see UKSNOW.org. Right. That puts you into Cometaphysics.org. Right. Okay. There's yeah. the updated. Uh, yeah. yeah like, there you yeah. go. Beautiful. Yeah. Y'all type that in and go uh, to. Uh, the website there. Um, this is uh, based off what you're saying, Dr. Valentine. This is a could be an ignorant question for some people, but and I, don't, I haven't done a study on this. But what I've noticed and heard uh, in reference to dreamwalking uh, versus sleepwalking, I've noticed um, the we call them over here, the pale face people or I'll say the white eye or, you know, quote unquote, so-called white people. Wow. I've noticed. Uh, yes, I've, I've noticed or heard that they tend to sleepwalk more than other melanated people. Is that because their body is uh, easier to hijack from these entities, if you will? What, what, what is what is that? Yeah, the sleepwalk, again, is the, the consciousness of the person, uh, the physical body not being in control, and they can be easily motivated by, that, by you capturing the mind. Okay. Um, it's, it's also sleepwalking, as you know, they call it a disease or they call it a, a mental affliction. Uh, the soul or the spirit is not comfortable staying still because movement makes them perceive while they're in a conscious state, movement forward constitutes progression forward, in other words. Mm -hmm. So instead of staying one place, they can't stay one place because they feel that they're not either safe where they are or they feel that there's something they have not accomplished the same way, and they feel that they have to keep going because they're in a survival mode. Most of the people who sleepwalk are in survival mode, mm. and they feel that, that wherever they are, that they're not safe, even when they close their eyes. They have to keep moving from where they are because wherever they are constitutes danger to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Let's do this question here. It says, uh, two British nurse says, does matter respond to breath, which activates thought with in the emotion elemental signature? <laughs> These questions, I know he's kind of right. guiding me to help you guys. I love it. Um, what the, the, the breath itself is the soul. Yeah. So if the soul and the breath are together as one, as you learned, uh, the soul itself has a destiny. A destiny. A destiny. Mm -hmm. uh, you come back with certain marks of experiences on the soul in order for you to be able to work through them so that they no longer are there. Mm -hmm. The soul becomes afflicted by what the emotions uh, guide the body and the mind to do. So sometimes the soul gets lost inside of all of the cacophonous noise and experiences of the physical and mental bodies. And so the soul now becomes afflicted by the thought processes that the lack of a kind of accomplishment that the body does not have, the accomplishments that the mental part needs in order to feel fulfilled, that doesn't happen. So these people go into states of depression. They go into states of self-afflicted forms of 
pain and suffering. And what they're doing is they are marking the soul with an IOU. And that IOU is fulfilled by the next reincarnation because they are still compelled to deal with the physical sensations. They're addicted to the body, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. And so what happens is the thought process now has to become, uh, well, you have to, the observer must understand that the thought is not you. Mm -hmm. The observer is your independent, removed, neutral observer. The observer is one who just observes without a participation. And for you to understand how the elementals work to bring about your reality, you must come into that same state of neutrality that the observer has when it is going through all of its experiences, which is extremely hard to do, especially when you can't eat, you can't, you don't have a place to stay, you're feeling in danger constantly and so forth. So it's very difficult. This is why the monks isolate themselves into these places where there's nothing but quiet, there's nothing but you and your thoughts and the observer observing those thoughts. Mm -hmm. So as you're negotiating what I need to feel or what I must feel in order to bring balance into myself, your thought process now essentially becomes you or it's like you said, you heard me say many times, are you thinking thoughts mm. or are your thoughts thinking you? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And then <laughs> once you begin to think in, in lieu of you surrendering through your thought process, it means that you are trapped in time, which means your thoughts have trapped you in time because time and thought are one, mm -hmm. which is why they are now dealing with time travel because they're tapping into the Akasha which essentially is nothing more than the memory engrams of past thoughts. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Preach. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, Jamal Moore L says, what do you think about Japan asking for melanated men to come save their population? But they knew who their ancestors are. Mm -hmm. The Ainu people were black people who, and you could see them in the sane or the sun people, S-A-N. Mm -hmm. The San people, if you go back there, they're nomadic people. Mm -hmm. And they're not black, black, they're brown. Mm -hmm. Two brother. Mm -hmm. And they're right. living in the black, I mean, in the Serengeti, the sun, and they haven't tanned all the way back yet. But right. they're the ones that they say are the original peoples. And these were from the original uh, uh, stock of humanity that came or survived the cataclysm that sank the previous paradigm into the waters while they're finding all these temples under oceans and so forth. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the sun, the sun has the high cheekbones with the uh, esophalic eyes and the esophalic lids. Mm -hmm. So uh, China did a DNA and found out that at least three fourths of the, at least a third of the DNA is African. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And the first of the Chinese dynasties, the Shang, you never hear about them. They'll never tell you about them. They'll never show you the black emperors or the pictures, the Japanese pictures of the, the black samurai right. who came there and taught them Bushido. Right. He and his father. They never will teach you those things because the white man or the pale man came over there as conquerors and they essentially, the dropping of these atomic bombs, which don't exist, by the way, it's just megatonnage. The dropping of the atomic bombs were as revenge by the Jesuits for being kicked out of Japan. Mm -hmm. When they went there with their black ships to try to take over. Mm hmm and that's oh, yeah. where the, the reductions came from. The reductions are what you see today as the projects. Right, right, right. Yeah, Torres said the people from the movie, the gods must be crazy. I've never seen that movie. I don't know if you've seen that movie. Oh, that's, uh, that's a great movie. It, okay. uh, brother, brother Torre, you got it. You hit it right there. They are so, you just want to go and hug them. 
They're so innocent and so into their own place. They know they, they have a thing over there where the so-called Aboriginal peoples of Australia, when mm -hmm. they want to find water, when they can't find water, they snatch a monkey. Mm -hmm. And they get that monkey uh, to because the monkey, once you put food into a hole, they'll grab it and they don't know to let go the food. So they have their hands trapped. And so they get trapped in there and they come and they take the monkey, tie him up to a tree and put salt all around him. And the, the, of course, salt is something missing from there. So he starts eating salt, 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 salt. And of course, he gets thirsty. Mm. And when he does it, after he finished eating all the salt, my boy comes from behind a rock and releases him and he takes him right to the water hole. Mm. Okay. Okay. But okay. the people of the sun uh, and the gods must be crazy. That that was a great movie when the when the, it's, it, it actually was deep because when you look at the movie, they show you them and the interpreter or the person speaking is kind of narrating what these people might be thinking. And all of a sudden, this Coke bottle falls out of the sky. Mm -hmm. And they never seen a Coke bottle before. And they said, what is this? It's something that belongs to the gods, you know? Mm -hmm. The same mm -hmm. way the European looks at our stuff. And when we came, and when they came over to us, it's, what is this? And so forth. Mm -hmm. So the gods must be crazy is them looking at airplanes flying ahead. We don't know what those are. Mm -hmm. But the mindset of the people there as children, but they still live. They have a community and they survive. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful story. You should see it. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. I'm definitely going to check that out. Uh, Trey, you said, why are Africans so angry? We aren't claiming we're from Africa or we're not claiming we're from Africa anymore. Well, I'm not sure why they're angry. I know that they have their own challenges. Mm -hmm. um, what's his name? The brother from Burkina Faso. I'm really happy with him. The only thing I'm not happy with is that he's aligning with the Communist Manifesto. Um, but I do know that Putin, based upon my inside sources, Putin, Jay, and Trump are working all together to get rid of the deep state around the world. Because right. as soon as Trump got into office, Putin came out and did a press conference and said, there's a new uh, beginning. We're all in a new beginning now. And Putin, I heard, is having um, issue, and they're talking behind the scenes at Israel, because Israel is about to get blown off the map. Hmm. So there's a lot going on right now. Um, we deal, dealing with because um, uh, the Russia uh, was the first to kick Rothschild out, and they're the ones who actually initiated the BRICS. Okay, so he kicked he kicked Rush, Russia out, and if you remember correctly, it wasn't Trump that alerted the world to this cult of pedophiles that actually ran the world, it was Putin. Mm -hmm. Putin was the one who talked about the pedophiles that were in office. And it was because of his information that led to revealing how Bush used to have, along with uh, Obama, used to have to spend $32,000 for pizza. Mm -hmm. And pizza turned out to be this young child, children. Mm -hmm. And the same thing um, went for the um, when he um, outed uh, a lot of the people from the British cabinet, the British British cabinet and the British Parliament. Two thirds of them were pedophiles. Mm -hmm. So it was Putin that actually first outed them. And what else did he did he do? And they want him just to hate him. He outed that everything, this is why they're coming out right now, the so-called Kazaza coming out, and they're outing them that they're not the real Jews because Putin came out and showed the icons, the ancient icons, that all of the saints, all of the Jesus myths and everything had to do with blacks. Mm -hmm. So everybody hating on Putin, the reason why they're hating on Putin is because the Kazaz run the media, mm -hmm. they run the education system, which is why, coincidentally, Trump is getting rid of the federal education system, Department of Education. Mm 
which was instituted by President Carter in 1978, I think, somewhere around that time. Right. It began to federalize the education system, which actually was part of the state. And it was an individual thing where there was competition. Mm -hmm. But now they standardized everything under Rockefeller. Mm -hmm. You see? And so Rockefeller now, through the, 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 the Institute or the, the University of Chicago, began putting out the whole new curriculum that was based directly in the female. In other words, they feminized the education system, which after four or five years, 64% of the males began dropping out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they knew what they were doing when they started feminism, when they federalized the education system, when they took over our, our financial system, when they it's erected the, uh, the Federal Reserve in 33 and killed off everybody else mm -hmm. in the Titanic, because that wasn't the Titanic, that was the Olympic that sank. Mm -hmm. The Olympic was what was sank. And they blew it up in the boiler room. It was a bomb that went off, not no iceberg. They killed off, um, I believe it was Tabot. John Jacob Astor, his name was. Right. He was against it. And they had to kill him off. And with that, they went after Tesla's materials. But Trump's father was close to Tesla. Mm -hmm. And he's now got all of Tesla's materials. That's why he says you have no idea how beautiful it's going to be in the future. Because they're going to have technologies that you wouldn't believe. Mm -hmm. And it was your boy George Bush Sr., that killed Tesla. Mm -hmm. He and Hitler's former personal bodyguard, I believe it's uh, Steffler or whatever his name was, big, tall, six foot five, six foot six dude. They suffocated him in his apartment over there on 40th Street and uh, and Fifth Avenue, I think, somewhere down there by uh, in in Manhattan where he lived. Right. And they took all of his materials. And that's where you saw that that cartoon that came up called Curious George. That's what Tesla used to call George Scherf, who became George Bush. Right. And so when they actually debuted Curious George, which is the monkey, that's what he used to call him because at that time, George Scherf, a.k.a. George Bush, worked for the Hitler Youth. And he was there to spy on Ted on Tesla because Tesla was working on a death ray. Mm. And so when that came out, when the dude who made um, Curious George was about to go to the premiere to explain where he got it from, he didn't show up and people didn't know what happened. They found him dead behind his garbage cans. Mm. Most people don't know this history. And they don't, and some can't handle it. You know, that's, that's me. There you go. Yeah. That's the other uh, thing there. Um, did Trump have a meeting with the CEO of Ripple? Um, yeah, he they're speaking about it, but very quietly, because if Trump talks directly to him out there now, then they will artificially begin to spike the markets and they don't want to do that. They have to be very quiet about how they do this. Um, they, they're talking about allowing uh, Bitcoin to become uh, a stable coin, which is a um, proof, uh, these proof of works has to be changed in order for it to become a, uh, a proof of value. Right. But the, 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 the real value is in the XRP, which is being used. And every now and then they show you only the public side, which was only like 57 cents. But when they showed you the public side and they were actually working out the kinks, on the international um, side, they would it would it would glitch, and you would see the real price at ten thousand, fifty thousand, seventy thousand a coin, and then all of a sudden it would just disappear and go back to fifty cents or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you had the kazars were in there, in the form of uh, the SEC. These were the kazars that were making sure because you remember they wanted to destroy the United States and make it nothing more 
than the enforcers for the Khazars' um, technological and militaristic aims. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And remember, the Ukraine used to be part of Khazaria. Mm -hmm. And they had to get rid of the people. So what did they do? They put this 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 uh, transgender dude in mm -hmm. who used to he used to be the Folies Berger. He would, you know, like the, the guys who dress up as women. Right. Yeah, they made him the prime minister. Right. Really? Yeah, we've seen him with, you know, yeah, dancing with pantyhose on. Pantyhose and, you know, and, yeah. uh, and, and makeup and the whole nine yards. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good good question here, uh, Jamal. Um, you said, are the Native Americans, the, the fakies, the $5, whatever, um, are the Native Americans that really come from Siberia or China going to lose their hold on claiming the Americas? Uh, we'll probably cut a deal with them once they relinquish that particular terminology and that status. Okay. What has to happen is that we have to wake up and reassume because we missed our chances and most of the elders of the Moors missed their chances when the entire North American continent went fee simple in 2004 in what the, in what the, um, the uh, what's the name of that place over there in New York? the United Nations. Okay. United Nations had deemed the year 2004 the year of the indigenous man. Mm -hmm. And that was our opportunity for put in the stake of claim for the land. Right. Because if you don't have the land, it don't mean a goddamn thing. Excuse the expression. That's right. That's, you see? That's right. And so that's all right. the wealth is in the land right now. All the gold that they think we have uh, most of it is in a cave there in uh, in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and uh, it's actually the elders that are there, the Chinese and the Philippine elders, that are actually the ones that actually made Queen Elizabeth the queen because she had one of the seven original books that dictated and showed the origins of humanity. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's going to become a reality one day soon. But um, uh, things are changing for our children, and we have to re or dis educate them mm -hmm. and get back to teaching them because education is a form of indoctrination. Yes. And the indoctrinational form of education today has to die for our children to resurrect. And that's why <clears throat> the state, just like they have taken away, see, they, they use uh, women's emotions, they, they tactically weaponized women's emotions when they said that your body no longer belongs to you uh, mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, we have made sure that, um, you know, that you, you no longer can get an abortion and all this nonsense. Mm -hmm. You know, they, 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 they're weaponizing women's emotions. So you see them shaving their heads and all this kind of nonsense. But uh, uh, everything is going back to the state. And now the governor becomes the president of the state. And whatever it is that the state deals from, if they don't want to, like down here in Florida where I am, they have snatched the word woke from us, mm -hmm. which was our word for talking about our resurrection and what we were coming into the knowledge of. They weaponized that word against us, even to the point of us adopting it. And then they've put women and men who are indoctrinated and don't have half the knowledge they then take these white boys to go into campuses and they go into have debates with children who are diseducated, who don't have half the knowledge necessary to have a good debate about why racism still exists. They have these people going to these uh, campuses and knocking down our children who are trained, even white children who are talking about racism still existing, they're making you believe it doesn't exist. And it does. Mm -hmm. It does at a very more subtle level. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as the so-called Moors, you have to look again. You're not just a Moor. A Moor is an adjective. It's a descriptive adjective. It has nothing to do with there being a Moorish nation. Uh, that we have to be very careful about how using that word. You have a particular uh, designation of a, of, and I don't want to use the word tribe because that too is a Vaticanized word. Right. You are a nation 
which means that you would be a more, which is a description that comes from maur, which is Greek. You are either the Chickasaw Moor or Yamasi Moor. You are first a nation of people before you are described as what you are as a, as a, as a, as a melanated person. The way that the Camites use the word Chem and then put up as the name or as a symbol a piece of charcoal. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the black land that, they, that the whites want you to interpret it as. It was the land of the blacks. They knew who they were. Mm -hmm. But we did not see it that way. And the, the people who are in the Moorish paradigm, which I'm part of, because I'm an L, eel, which essentially, again, was bastardized because the, the, the word El is actually a, the god of Saturn, the god called Saturn. Mm -hmm. Saturn was once the ruling planet because of its, its, its imposing nature and all of the different planets that were around it and how it dis they disappeared and came back and disappeared and came back, and which is why they depicted Saturn as a man eating children. Now they took that and literalized that. Mm -hmm. And the Khazars used Saturn, which is Satan, as their God, and then they go after our innocent children and they drain them of their blood, they adrenalize their blood and actually cut them up and eat their flesh the way that they have been depicted which was essentially nothing more than an analogy mm -hmm. of the planets that are around it or the moons disappearing and appearing. Mm -hmm. We have to get them out of this Jesus myth and this myth about the guardian angel coming down and dictating to Muhammad, which was another title, not the name of someone, but a title that the Syrians used. Muhammad was the title of a of a, of a, of a, of a, of a back in the Syriac that was used to actually dictate the station of someone's achievement in society, a very high stem, like president, like uh, you know, um, whatever words we have, prime uh, minister, prime minister, uh, CEO, the same yeah. way that the gods that we worship in so-called worship in Kemet like Heru and Jehudi, these were, these were actually positions of power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see? So until we become more sophisticated with the knowledge and interpret them the way that our ancestors used them to teach rather than to worship and to bend a knee before, mm -hmm. I remember it was being said that when the last stone of the last church falls upon the head of the last priest, only then will humanity be free. Mm. Mm. Let that har harmony reign right there, y'all. That yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, y'all, let's get the questions in here. I don't have Dr. Valentine on here too long here. Um, but, uh, med is Trump bringing out med? What, what are med beds? What, what is that? Med beds? What's that? Hey, the med beds have been working. Uh, this is how these demons have been trying to stay alive for a hundred years. Mm, okay. Um, a lot of people are essentially trying to get away from the med beds, but yes, med beds are going to be part of the actual, uh, but they can't really come into play until the society, uh, has changed the entire, um, medical system the way that um uh what's his name robert f kennedy is getting ready to do okay and they're going to have to change the medical system they're going to have to get into a more holistic form of uh, the system and the med beds now deal directly with your dna they have the way to resonate specific sound values mm -hmm. in the med beds as well as light in other words for example People who are, you notice that I have what uh, these glasses seem to be tinted. Well, right. we're looking at a blue screen right now. Everybody's looking at a screen that's ever made in blue. Well, it's necessary for you to get the red lenses or the deep yellow lenses so that you can cut off the blue and change it to one that's more favorable to the resonating frequencies that your heart and your mm -hmm. body gives off through your aura. 
Otherwise, the blue will begin to destroy certain parts of your ability to perceive things and you're just going to absorb without having the filter to discern. And it causes d dangers to your cells and to your DNA. So every time you're looking into your screen or every time you're looking into your, um, your, your, your telephone, the blue tint, and they did have the ability to either to give it the red tint, but the CIA and those in charge of making sure that the 5G destroys you and kills off the population. Remember, they want at least five to six billion dead so that they can now rewild the world for themselves, mm -hmm. this utopia they have for themselves. Mm -hmm. So they already, they said, which one is best for your health? And they saw it. They said the red one would be best. They said, no, use the blue. Mm -hmm. So if you, mm -hmm. I would suggest you go ahead and get the red filter glasses or glasses that actually shade or change the blue that comes off of the screen. Mm -hmm. You'll find yourself breaking down during this time of the, of the year. And you'll sign, especially if you're in front of your computer a lot, you'll find that you can find yourself becoming ill and more susceptible to colds and cleansing and so forth during this time because of the fact that if you are staying as long as you are in front of the computer, then you are making yourself susceptible uh, to radical reactions by the body to cleanse itself, which is what you're getting with the nose and so forth, running the body trying to get rid of waste in order to act and to work more efficiently against these radiations that are that actually attacking you. Mm. Makes sense. Okay. 10 4. Um, Camel Joe said, I think so. Brad said he did Fox News. I saw. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Curtis says, Can you tell us the agenda then that Trump and the deep state fighters have for black people in particular? I just wonder if, regards, regardless of who rules, will the genocide of our people be the same? Well, yeah. What we have to do, um, from what I heard from the Moors that are keeping me in touch with what they're doing that they're the ones who actually funded um, Trump and gave him the mandate, which you will begin to see soon um, because the Moors themselves are in touch with him. Mm -hmm. And so we'll see what happens at this point because the status of people can't be African-Americans anymore. Right. They want us to go back to Africa because we didn't come from there. Right. They want to claim this particular land because we are the autochthonous, not just indigenous, autochthonous. Look up that word, A-U-T-O-C-H-T-H-O-N-O-U-S. We are autochthonous. And what that means is of the land. Mm -hmm. It means that our DNA matched the flower and fauna of this land and does not match the ones from Africa. Mm -hmm. So the flower and fauna and the DNA of the people who were the actual slaves. And you saw that. Who I, I know many people saw the movie called or the series called Roots. Yes, yes. And if you can remember, in Roots, there was a section of Roots where Chicken George was talking to some of the members of the so-called slaves or captives on the plantation, and they were bringing in Kunta Kinte. And they were bringing in Kunta Kinte and other members, and they said, you see those over there? Those are Africans. Mm -hmm. Well, if, if wait a minute, hold up. No, no, let me get this straight. If you are an African, and you have to tell another person, your color, you're speaking, that you have to define the people coming in as Africans, that, what that made you? Mm-hmm. That was the clue we missed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see? So now that, you know, they're, they're brothers like Calloway, Dane Calloway, and other brothers and sisters that are coming out with the information, you know, like my good brother, Kaba Hiawatha. Mm -hmm. They're now opening up the books to find out that there was a whole civilization here. Do you know that the first Supreme Court... There's a Supreme Court that goes back to 1720-something. Uh, there was a Supreme Court that was operating here. You All the Capitol buildings that you see around the, the nation with this incredible, uh, and, and the one that you saw that was the Chicago World's Fair. Mm -hmm. 
These Europeans didn't build that. This right. young folks, my boy talked about go west, young man. But they went west. They started seeing all kinds of magnificent buildings. Mm -hmm. There were actual uh, uh, Spanish explorers that were actually writing in their journals that they found markets, streets paved, artificial islands, mm -hmm. and there are villages. You know, the whites don't want to talk about it, mm -hmm. but after the so-called Emancipation Proclamation, by the way, the new information is it wasn't John Wilkes Booth who killed uh, Lincoln. It was his wife, Sarah. <laughs> right. The gun that she, the gun used was not a gun that a man would use. Mm -hmm. It was a gun, it found out later on, was given as a gift to her. Mm -hmm. How did he get it? Mm -hmm. Come to find out that she worked as a member of the Jesuits' lay um, population. This is called Opus Dei. These are the little things that most people don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. See? Facts. Facts. Anyway, Facts. Just to let you know that um, when we get there on the 19th, hopefully you'll bring people, uh, go and sign up. Mm -hmm. yourself, you know your ticket because of course uh at the end of uh january at the end of december is when the um the uh what is that the discount price ends and it goes into the the actual price right okay and, and again y'all on the top of the stream the link is there for the webinar there just click it everything's there the date the pricing and all that like dr valentine said just say it uh, register now, you know, so you'll get the discount on there. Yeah, we're going to uh, talk about all of the, you know, the so-called um, splicing mm -hmm. and genetic engineering of animals with humans. Well, well Dr. Valentine, speaking of that, because I talk about this on my channel now, this is old, you know, you, you and, and, and Bobby Hammond and, and, and Blair, you know, y'all been, been there, done that, but I do it in a more, uh, <laughs> I do it in a more comedic value. I talk yeah. about the Yakub. Can yeah. you, and not so much saying Yakub is real or not real, but that rogue scientists are these jealous gods that took certain genetics. Because on, on my platform, I say it's all about the genetics of land. But you had these people or this person that did alter the genome, if you will. Can you talk about that a little bit? Oh, yeah, they've been doing that. That's, that's old. It started with plants. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to spice together we're doing it right now but we don't do with genetic engineering we did it essentially with uh just splicing different parts of the plants and roots cutting them in half and putting them together and planting them and then growing as spliced materials yeah but the genetic engineering has been going on for a while in fact yaku which is another word for jacob mm -hmm. essentially which is another word for israel so you have to understand where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. uh, Isis, Ra, El, essentially. So when you're talking about the, the so-called splicing of genes and so forth, uh, this is the European picking up on something that we were doing to create him. Mm -hmm. And you got to remember, too, that the way that they, they actually put down how to make a European because remember, the first slaves were there. They were the first slaves. We would have taught them how to enslave. That's why they're so damn angry and why they hate us so much. Mm -hmm. Yaku created this man, this, 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 this deficient entity that uh, couldn't live in the sun. That way they made it so that, that the sun would be the enemy of that creature so that it wouldn't attack us in the open field. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so they found out that the way that you actually created them was to impregnate a black woman and put her in a cave for nine months, not showing her any sunshine, none of that, and feeding her in the darkness. Mm -hmm. And what they found out was the child came out like you saw uh, a, a, um, a residual of these two, these two, I think they were either, yeah, they were Nigerian parents yeah, they're just talking about. To a, yeah, gave birth yeah. to a white child. Yeah, that's yeah. how you make them. Yeah, yeah. Using the black woman. Right. Because she is the seed for every every template of human that came into being. Mm -hmm. So how do you use her? She's the laboratory. Mm -hmm. That's why they have gotten us so screwed up. 
they've got to her head. Mm -hmm. That's how you destroy the family. You got to use the woman mm -hmm. because she is more into her emotions and therefore easily uh, swayed by her nature, which is to go with the one that would take care of her and her child. That's mm -hmm. why she so has this great relationship with the government mm -hmm. and would dump you in a minute. She's hypergamous. She wants to go with the person that would best protect her and the child that would come from her. And that's why we're having a problem today because right. she's saying, oh my God, I have my own home. I have my own car. I'm the CEO of my this. I'm an independent, strong woman. No, what you just described to me was a man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You described to me as a self-sufficient entity, which is supposed to be anyway. But they say you kept coming on there talking about, I don't need no man. Yeah, well, good. You became the man. Now live with it. Mm -hmm. And now the men are no longer being simps. Black men, especially. This is why black women are so pissed with black men because they control them. They're the ones who raised them. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was black men who are imprinting the nature of black women, which is why they're so quick to go to their guns when back in the days we would square off. And the mm -hmm. best man won. And after whoever kicked his other's ass, shook hands and go have a beer. Mm -hmm. Not today. Mm -hmm. We just go from emotions. You can't mess with us and so forth. And I'm this and I'm that. We didn't need to be doing that. It's the quiet ones you need to be worried about. Mm -hmm. Not the one loud talking about all the bling I got and I'm this and I'm that. We got crazy because 75 to 80% of the black population has been raised by women. And when the boys imprint their mothers, which is why you see football players and all these heavyweight, or what do you call it, who are in, in touch with their moms and so forth, they're the ones that turn out to be the, the, the bisexuals and homosexuals. Right. What do you think that is? It's because of the female. They knew who to go to by engendering distrust in the woman those who use the tactics of Sun Tzu in the art of war is the way that you attack a greater and more stronger and more powerful opponent is to erode his power from within. Mm -hmm. And the way that you destroy them, the way that, um, what's her name? Um, not Betty Friedan. Uh, is it Steinem? Gloria Steinem? Okay, yeah. Gloria yeah. Steinem said she went into the black community during the so-called civil rights movement when the communists went after Martin Luther King and convinced him because they had control of all of, they knew, remember back then we had all of the, you know, the, the what is that, uh, Wall Street? We had right. Black Wall Street. We were right. taking Greenwood. names. Yes, Greenwood. Why? They needed to destroy that because we were, we were, the, the workers that built America from, from the jump, all of our capital and our sweat. So we came in there, and that's why, again, they, they created the so-called, um, when, when we began to migrate north, the white man, when they used to be fighting one another, the Poles, the Italians, the Irish, and all the rest of them would be fighting one another, they created the, um, what do you call those when the workers come together? Oh, um, uh, gosh, um, See, that's something with a J, something, uh, um, what do you call it? I know what you're talking oh, about, though. Guys, but the, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. people, you know, would definitely know what I'm talking about. There would be right. these, these, the, the grouping of workers together. Right. And they, they created the that in order to circumvent. Union. 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 That is. Yeah. The unions yeah. came together. Thank you, Tori. The unions came together. Black, uh, white, all the whites came together because what happened? All of this so serious, sophisticated labor was coming up from the South. Right. And, and the Khazars knew that that was going to be a threat later on because we had a baseball team that used to kick the shit out of the, uh, the Yankees right. in exhibition. We had our own bus line, our own banks. We had everything that would be in competition with them. And so they went after your boy, Martin, and told him, listen, you know, you all need to integrate because you all uh, don't have your own and so forth. 
And so he bought into that. And then at the end, after he had sold us out and said, I have prayed again, he made some kind of speech. I have, I have, um, you know, brought my people back into a burning building or something like that. Right. Yeah. So they knew what we were. We were the skilled labor that threatened them. Right. So they had to destroy that. And then after they did that, they got us into the so-called civil rights, which is Roman rights, which is Roman black law or the Shata law of the Talmud. That's what civil rights are. Mm -hmm. They got us into that through Martin Luther. And after he got together with Malcolm and started to say, oh, you know, you might have been right. They got their boy in there, Jesse, to set him up. Right. And took him down. Right. So, but meanwhile, now they le they left the women alone. They left um, they left uh, uh, Coretta, and they left Malcolm's wife alone, and they went after those two, right? And turned them into boule, right? And from that point forward, that's when um, what's her name, uh, Gloria Steinem, who worked for the CIA, moved into the black community and said they are too uh, unified. Mm -hmm. We got to get to the women. And so over the period of time when there was all these inflaming and we were going through all these different kinds of upheavals in Chicago, a little weather woman by the name of Oprah Winfrey was the only one that the Chicago people would let in there to speak. So that's how she grew. And so Steinem moved on her and said, listen, you're going to be our frontline speaker. We're going to give you everything that you want. But we need them women. We need them black women to separate from them black men. Mm -hmm. And that's what she did. That was her job. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you all go out there and look at the situation right now that has to be cleansed up. And the one who asked me about what about Trump and so forth. Now we got to get ours together. We got a lot of young brothers and sisters out there that know what time it is. And they've been calling me and telling me, thank you. And the whole nine yards. Listen, thank you for thanking me, but take what it is that you've learned over the last my 40 years of experience and begin to implement, take your children out of these present schools. These schools are indoctrinative cubicles that are taking the minds of your children and making boys believe they can be girls and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And these Democrats, I'm wondering why it is that you believe that a woman that actually supports a man who says he's a woman beating the hell out of another woman in the ring or taking over the sports of women, how it is that you're going to tell me you're going to vote for somebody like that? Mm -hmm. What the hell is wrong with you black women mm -hmm. and black men? Because 80 percent of black people voted for this sick, crazy ass woman. Right. Right. 80 percent. And then all of a sudden, black women are saying, well, you, well I'm not going to have no sex with you no more. I ain't going to have your children no more. I ain't going to talk with you no more. Go to hell. Right. We'll, give a right. <laughs> we'll just take a plane and we become a passport brother. <laughs> Leave your monkey asses here. It's right. Stupid. And, that, and it gets to me how it is that you could listen to what it is that this woman supports against your very own principles of being a woman. And you're going to put her in office with her finger on the trigger of the nuclear football. Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. I went rant, ranting for a minute, but no, the, the people right. are going crazy here. And we have to essentially, sisters, you're going to have to come to heal. Mm -hmm. You cannot lead. It shows that women should not even be having the rights to vote based on everything that you look, 80 goddamn percent, and you're motivating our men to put her in office, the men who are supposed to do their due diligence to make sure that they have all the right information to lead you? Mm -hmm. No, no. That was a disappointment, 80 percent. The 12 or 13 percent of black men and black women who voted, those are the ones I want to target right now. Those right. are the ones that will lead. The rest of you, you all are going to self-destruct unless, unless you give up this BS that this white woman taught you when you began to join her in her quest against her own man, which is the white man. That's what feminism was. 
Feminism was nothing more than femme fascism. Women pissed off with her man. They don't want you, they want you to join them because they want to give you equal. Ask any white feminist if they want you in the same breakfast club or in the same club with them. Mm-hmm. Nah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The goddess Kylie can't live here, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, you right. 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 As a matter right. of fact, that's the sick part about it. I know that the women hate me for this, but I kept saying that at the end of every great civilization, why is it that the top civilizations used to use the female as the one that was representative of the decline of that nation? Kali, mm -hmm. Sekhmet, Inanna. Why is it that they were the ones that you saw death all around? Mm -hmm. And we're the ones who bring life and death. But when you're talking about the high civilizations completely going crazy and the children now they're going hog ass crazy wild, that's because the woman no longer is in her place, but expects the man to be in his place. That's what mm -hmm. women they want. They want, want, give me, give me, give me, 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 you know, pay me, give me money. What are you bringing? Me? Mm -hmm. Really? And some really? used goods, some used goods. <laughs> Very used goods. And so, you know, but, and the thing is, the beauty of woman was, you know, you kept all your secrets and you just became what it is that was necessary for the man. We knew you had a secret society all of your own in, in the ancient times. But you didn't disturb what it is. You used to use men. You knew how to motivate men. You used to motivate men. Mm -hmm. Now you wanted to be men. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't support, then you're not necessary to men. Men are actually living much better lives without women that are really taxing mm -hmm. their peace because they're not bringing peace. They're talking about, oh, I want a man to be able to handle me. Handle you? What? I'm handling the world. I'm supposed to come home and handle you too? You got mm -hmm. your mind? Mm -hmm. No. So anyway, I'm ranting, but no, it's that's, me. That's... I've always been for men. That's what the wounded womb is about. Wounded womb is, hopefully the women would read that along yeah. with the men and yeah. come back to understanding what you left. You left the throne. You stepped yeah. off the throne and you began to go into your crazy self. We need a part two, uh, Dr. Valentine. We need a part two of this. Very yeah, soon, part two. <laughs> soon. <laughs> hey, we need a part two of that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, last question, Dr. Valentine. Uh, Trey says, uh, what's your thoughts on the Tesla bots? Oh, wow, yeah. The Tesla, I'm a little bit, I don't know, he's kind of wavering. Tesla, to me, if you listen to where he speaks, it seems that he went through some form of of uh, trauma, trauma-based mind control. Okay. Okay. And um, yeah, yeah. Whatever it is that he went through, a genius as he was, it seems to me that he may be a survivor. But the fact that he wants to get into your brain, as I said back about two or three years ago, and put a particular chip on there so that you could turn on things pur purposely and so forth. Anybody that wants to get in your skull and put something artificial on your brain, you need to stay away from. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I watch what he's saying, what he's doing, and I say stay away from them electric cars. Stay away from anything that has to deal with a conveyance that deals with electricity. Mm -hmm. If you want to deal with a uh, hybrid, maybe, yeah. But a, a pure electric cars, they showed you in that movie that Obama funded um, uh, that came out on Netflix. What was the name of that one that they came out on Netflix? Netflix. Um, I know I'm the not sure. Yeah, the brothers and sisters, you know, they I love the fact that they're on point. Somebody gonna come up there and tell us what the name of that movie was. But anyway, you saw that when they were on the roadside trying to drive someplace, all of a sudden these cars started attacking them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were all Teslas, all mm -hmm. electrical cars. Mm -hmm. And if you have something that they can actually shut down by means of an electric electrical program, or they can prohibit you from going outside particular boundaries because there's a chip in your car that shuts your car down if you leave a particular area? Mm -hmm. Nah. No. Mm -hmm. I would rather have some gas because essentially it's it's the coals, the coal and that and the gas that actually is mo is moving or actually uh, powering the stations that Tesla is building to create the electricity for you to recharge. Leave the war behind. Okay. Leave the yeah, war yeah, behind. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Again, y'all, the link.
to the I'm gonna say event, but to um uh the nineteenth here, y'all again the link is on the top here. So just go to the top of the chat and look and, and click it. And also it's in the description. So when the video ends, you'll see the link there. You just click it and go and it gives you everything you need. If you have any questions, contact me or Dr. Valentine. Uh well, you know, Dr. Val yeah, but just remember that it's the nineteenth of January, not yes. the nineteenth of December. It's the day before he's inaugurated. We'll know exactly what time it is by that time. And I will be able to give you a, a like an on-site report of what's going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What were you saying? Um, oh, by the way, just look what it says here on my um on my flyer. Right. Notice that I the way that I couched it is 2025, 26, 27, 28, and it's fading until we don't know what's up 2030. So it's a right. countdown. And of course, when the truth is revealed. And this is the truth. This is there's an there's an ancient saying uh, by 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 a, uh, a guru. You know, when the truth is is given, it's one third goes insane, the other one suicides. But then that other third, the ones that I was telling you about, the twelve percent that voted against this woman, which would represent the third, will come to enlightenment. That's the one that I'm talking about. So you, that when the truth is revealed. Which one are you? Are you going to go insane? Are you going to commit suicide? And you can commit mental suicide the way these women are actually committing mental suicide because mm. they don't want to procreate. They don't want to have any kind of deals in dealing with men, which means they're going to die alone or with their cats. So that's fine. They've chosen to commit psycho spiritual and emotional suicide by these actions. Fine. We can't help them. They want to take the leap off that cliff do it. But then there are those who will listen to reason, the reason that comes from their hearts, discerning the knowledge and seeing what it is. I don't trust anybody in power right now by what they say. It's by actions. Mm -hmm. I know that, I know for example, for example, I know that uh, um, Robert Kennedy is real in what he does because I've worked with him, I've spoken with him. I know that he is real when it comes to actually doing what he says he wants to do, because he's been fighting the pharmaceuticals and Fauci, like me, because I was fighting Fauci back in the 80s when he came up with that AIDS hoax. Mm -hmm. And I know that he is real. And it seems to me that if Trump is using him to help to bring back the health of our nation, I have to lean towards that mafia boss to see what he's got to say further on down the line. I'm watching him like a hawk too, mm -hmm. you see. But everybody he's putting in place has proven, at least to me and the people that I'm working with behind the scenes, that they, he seems to be the one that they're afraid of. And remember, there are two or three different Trumps. And Baba Dick Gregory told me and told everybody else that there are two Trumps. One is tall, but taller than, than uh, Melania. You can see him. He's like six foot three, six foot and some change. The other one's like 5'11". Right. OK, so you can tell the difference of who it is and that the real one is supposed to be bunkered in a place. I forgot where they usually keep them, uh, the president in the event of of a national emergency or some sort of attempted assassination. They say that he's been there orchestrating the military, orchestrating. Uh, uh, before we go, uh, yeah. I don't know if you ever saw when he stepped off his plane that the military man did this to him. Right. Right. Well, that's before he was even sworn in as the president. Right. It means that he never left. He was always the president. And he right. orchestrated all of what you see to this demise of the society so that the people could actually see exactly what was actually happening to the country and that the filth, the maggots, the version that had infested our society. So now we're going to deal with it and see exactly what this republic was about because RE means by or the reference to public, the public this time. Democracy essentially is a demonic, essentially, the, if, if Plato himself said, if you want to destroy a nation, make it a democracy. Yes, yes. And that's why they were saying 45 through 47. Right. Okay. Exactly. Those are the numbers, by the way. Seven and four is 11. That's two. That's my master number.
Yes, yes. Dave? Yes, 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 yes. Much respect. Yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming in here today, asking great questions here uh, for Dr. Valentine. Um, definitely. Uh, again, y'all, the the link, and it's on the bottom now. I post, I, I'll post it right now again so y'all can just click it and go. The link is right there in the chat on the bottom now. So it's right there if you uh, want to. Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If, they, if you are going to give us a gift, and thank you, by the way, if you are going to give us a gift outside of you um, joining us for our uh, platform, um, I'm not sure. But I do. Oh, that's the other thing. Thank you, brother, for, um, for reminding me. We will be launching my new website sometime before the beginning of the year, hopefully. Okay. Because we're working on it. The platforms we tried to get our my other webinars on, they didn't want it because of content. But we have found the content, uh, the the platform, and our um, my previous webinars will be available for streaming, mm -hmm. and uh, at, at minimal prices because they're going to break up. I'm not going to have all 11 hours, so you're going to be able to get it in sections, uh, and 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 hopefully we'll have that available for you. And if, if, again, you are going to give any gifts, um, if you're going to do it through PayPal, uh, please make sure that it's for friends and family because they tax us uh, for that transaction. We, if you do have Zelle and you want to give a gift, please use the Zelle, your Zelle account, to actually give the gift because that's bank to bank and we get the entire amount of your, of your gift. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. And of yes. course, if you want to deal with uh, any vax um, information, or vaccination exemption package, then you can call the 800 number, 847-1291. That's 800-847-1291. And please leave your number twice, maybe even three times, and then we'll get back to you. Okay? And again, if you're not be able to uh, get into uh, the page because sometimes there's uh, some problems um, with the link to register. Just, you know, go to my email, sanu777 at gmail, and put webinar in all capital letters in the field, in the subject box, and I will send it to you directly from my email. Yeah, and this link that you gave me that I'm clicking now or I got open here, it works. So I don't, oh, you know, works. if you have an issue with that, I don't, I don't, I don't know y'all, but like okay. I said, contact Dr. Valentine and myself and we'll give you the proper thing you need to do. Um, right. Brother yeah, Cody. 2 a.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, <laughs> wow, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. Um, Moringa Maka, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to need the energy. Thank you, Brother Moore. Yeah. Yes, and let, uh, definitely. Let, let, Last question, Doctor Valentine. Yeah. This is a funny question. Who? This this is a funny question. Just 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 have fun with it. Um, between you and Bobby, who had the longest lecture? Um, I beat him up by about a half hour, forty five minutes. Okay. <laughs> uh, we, we we were at it. I think he came out at um, I think he came out at ten ten thirty when we were in California. Yeah. Uh, and he did a ten hour, uh, hour ten and some hour. I think it was a ten hour lecture. And I think it was about a, a three weeks to a month later, I came and did 11 minutes and 15 seconds. Okay. So I, 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 we were around the same thing back then because I think I had more questions to right. answer than he did. So, right. Yeah. You know, and uh, that was fun. And he and I, we have long wind. You know, yeah. that, uh, I miss him. I really, really miss his voice and what he used to do. I mean, there's nobody that can actually put out the kind of information he does and his interpretation. And he's, he's missed along with Dr. Blair yeah, because yeah. we were like we were like the uh, the three amigos. Yeah. I I was the one who was Our Avengers. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> I was the one that was in New York doing my thing. He was in Chicago doing his thing, and Bobby was in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So we were like this uh, triangle, and and uh, we met up. And uh, again, I miss these brothers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, y'all, much respect, y'all. Um, definitely. Um, yeah, Def Lecture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Well, Dr. Valentine, uh, anything else you want to add? No, just want to thank everybody who did come in. I see that uh, the ones who participated knew the questions to ask. I thank you very much. 
And uh, wherever this particular broadcast goes, thank you for whatever works that you do put in to support the resurrection of our people and for us to get rid of the, the vermin, the virus that the Khazarian mafia and the mob and their cabal and their child stealing, child sacrificing, child killing, child eating, uh, child torturing uh, people, um, definitely um, to you know, please help us to get rid of them by taking the works and not just talking around, the, try to network with people and to put this information out there and to do your best to become uh, a, a, a antivirus or, or a, a, what do you call it, an antiviral agent against all of what you see they're doing there. And get yourself some XRP now, quickly, because this bad boy is going up there. Trust me, XRP, XLM, XDC, HBAR. Yes, get these books by, you know, get these yeah. books by the Valentine's, y'all. Get these books, y'all. Links in the room, too. So, again, Dr. Valentine, thank you very much. I'll hit you all soon about, uh, you know, soon. We're we, we talking about here, then, you know, on, on the back yeah, end. By but, the way, uh, this, is, this is Earth. This is Flat Earth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. This yeah. is this is uh this is Let me make uh, it bigger. Yeah, this is Antarctica. Let's see, that didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is uh this is Antarctica right here. Right. And this is the sun and the moon that circles above us. Mm -hmm. And the dome that is over us now you can access by resonating through the the uh the the compressed hydrogen to the other domes. Or you can actually access it through an underground conduit of the earth that is on the flatted plane that goes off into existence, into infinity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, Dr. Valentine, much respect. Thank you very much. We're going to close this Thank out there. Thanks for everybody coming in there. Much respect, y'all. Y'all have a good weekend and week. Peace out. Peace out.